elastic powers to be adherent to this lower lobe of our inferior surface of neck lobe. So in case of revision surgery, you can safely do dissection between omentum and neck lobe in the So you don't have to worry about injury, elastic powers. This is one advantage. Third advantage is it will prevent vesto-gastric fistula the, between uh, remnant and pouch if we have okay. placed omentum and it is nicely adherent with pouch it will prevent vesto fistula also. I am Dr. from Chennai. Very proud of attending our Sir Sanjay's surgeries. It's an excellent work, sir. He is a blessed person with the skill and the surgery, surgical steps are mesmerizing. The arthroscopy surgeon, I can see his steps are like flow with flow. He can, uh, everything seems to be so simple, so mesmerizing. Even the surgeon who does not have any idea about periodic surgery, feel like doing periodic surgery and observing his surgical skills. There are actually four steps of landing count in anything like stage one, unconsciously unconscious of laparoscopy surgery, stage two, unconsciously conscious of this periodic surgery, number three, consciously conscious of periodic surgery, number four, unconsciously conscious of this periodic surgery. So all these are the stage of Unco fourth stage four, unconsciously conscious of doing the period like flow in flow. This and automatically everything happens without this uh, many equipment. <laughs> we were at the stage of unconsciously unconscious of this periodic surgery. Hi, I am uh, Dr. Uh, Dharmendra from Lifeline Hospital, Chennai. Uh, it's um, indeed a great uh, pleasure and privilege uh, to be here at. Uh, with Dr. Sanjay Patolia here in Ahmedabad. The course structure was wonderful because it is in such a way there is no difference from steps from first case to last case. Everything is standardized and everything is in repetition. So there is no complication in regarding the steps. There is no confusion in between the steps. So we can just copy these steps in our practice. So, so in in this regard, it's a wonderful course. So everybody should attend. Every budding or uh, any type of bariatric surgeon should follow these uh, steps in their practice, especially in RVGB. Thank you.